Xander Shoffley from the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational. The walk to the green on number one Zaire Williams on going from playing with Bronny James to facing LeBron James in NBA Memphis Grizzlies first round pick Zaire Williams on why he chose number eight Phil Mickelson tees off Sunday at WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational Memphis Grizzlies GM discusses Zaire Williams. NBA draft Ya Morant on his top five point guard claim. Grizzlies win over Timberwolves Ryan Silverfield breaks down Memphis quarterback competition ahead of preseason camp emotional meeting between Adam Scott, cancer patient Lisa Yarbrough behind the creation of Ida B. Wells statue on Beale Street today in history for July 21 ST highlights. Southwest Tennessee basketball tiny home builder teams with my sister's house to provide housing for transgender Memphians. Unfortunately I got sick. Right after it was over. I got that Delta variant, and I was kind of out for about 10 to 12 days, but I'm all good now and anxious to get back, Brown said. Brown, 80, is vaccinated and said he has made a full recovery. The recent hire attended the event with Coach Penny Hardaway. He said that his favorite part of traveling was being able to spend time with Hardaway. While at the tournament in Augusta, South Carolina, the two coaches saw recent Memphis signee Jalen Duran play. Brown compared Duran to a young version of Sean Kemp, citing his athleticism and size as two factors that remind him of the six-time NBA All-Star. Load error he added that what stands out about Duran is his attitude. He just seems like a great teammate who wants to get better, and those are the people that I think Penny is looking to recruit, and those are the kind of kids I want to be associated with. You know having an open mind. Want to come to practice every day want to get better and I think that's entirely what Jalen is about, Brown said. Brown said he had been on a Zoom call with Hardaway and Duran before as well and was impressed by his maturity. According to Brown, Duran turned down an offer of over a million dollars to play in the G League, as well as offers from other top basketball programs. When you're able to compete against Miami and Kentucky for a kid, it tells you what they think of Penny, of his program and what he's trying to build, Brown said. Brown said other factors that may have pushed Duran to college basketball over the G League. He would prefer young athletes to assimilate into a college environment that teaches them the importance of an education. I wish the NBA would realize that college basketball might be the greatest minor league system that we have. I really think they're going to do away with this one and done because of this likeness. I'm not opposed to that. But a lot of times kids that make that decision really aren't ready and we don't talk about those kids that fail. I think the system fails more than the kids fail, Brown said.